equation help? So if you're having trouble uh, with the current equation, let's cover that. Uh, so to calculate a loan, right, we need a couple of things. We need these inputs. Uh, so I will... Um, I won't go ahead with the print statement. I'll just put in the loans. Uh, what we need here is uh, I gave you math.pow, right? And the way math.pow works, let's just go, let's, let's calculate the total cost of the loan, right? So my total cost is going to be equal to uh, the, the, the result of our uh, raised exponent times the principal of the loan. So the way you raise an exponent in Java is using uh, the math.pow method. And the way I like to look at it is I work from the inside out of, uh, of math.pow. So if I go to our, uh, not here, let's see. If I go to, let's see, is that where we are? No, that's not it. Which lesson is a 3.0, right? So, there we go. All right. So if I look at this math.pal equation, what am I raising to an exponent? I'm raising this 1 plus r over n, right? So I start with 1 plus r over n. Now, you don't have to use any parentheses here because the r over n is going to get uh, calculated first by default because of order of ops. Then all I have to do is raise this to an exponent. So I use math.pow, right? And the way math.pow works is I put my number here and the exponent I'm raising to after the first comma. Now, what am I raising the exponent to? N times t. So that takes care of more than half of this equation, right? Now all I have to do is close the entire thing in parentheses, multiply by p, and I'm done. So if I run this, oops, I can, what did I screw up? Semicolon. Ah, don't forget your semicolons, kids. What did I do here? I forgot string args. All right, so I screwed that up. Now we should be able to run it. Holy smokes, what's going on here? Uh, can I find symbol? What's this? Double. All right, one more time. There we go. I got a little lazy. So if I don't have print statements here, I can still enter these variables in. So let's say uh, my uh, rate is 5.9% and uh, my principal is 10,000 and I have, I'm going to accrue interest four times a year and my loan's five years. Uh, that should give me let's see that again all right uh, 5.9 uh, percent 10 grand and four and five so that's the total cost of the loan over the life of the loan right once I'm done with the total cost of the loan, now I have to calculate the payment. And I gave you some hints here. Total cost of the loan divided by total number of payments to be made. Uh, let's say I have a five-year loan. So I'm making a payment on a car. How many payments, how many, uh, how many of these kinds of payments am I going to make on a five-year loan? Somebody tell me. 60 payments, how'd we get that? 12 times the five years, what's the five in this case, in, the, in terms of this? So 
So total cost divided by total number of payments, which is 12 times what? The number of years. So this is the number of monthly payments I'm going to make in a year. And then I just have to multiply that times the number of years. And I already have a variable for that, which is T. I want to enclose this in parentheses because I want that to get calculated before the division starts. And then it's just a simple matter of Close this down for a minute. Will be a payment. And I think that works. Let's uh, make sure I put everything there. All right, we're gonna run this, and I'm gonna. Why? Why? Semicolons again. Do not forget your semicolons. Uh, so let's say, let's stick with the same 5.9% interest, uh, principal or, uh, yeah, principal of 10,000, uh, four, five, print that total number payments will be that obviously you're going to have to do some print formatting. I think it tells you to, but I think you know how to do that. Uh, if you have any more questions about the actual payment part of it, please let me know.